Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor, and in this video we're going to be going over fonts in Adobe Muse. So I'm going to go ahead and open uh, Adobe Muse here. Uh, I've created the simple site with a few different uh, fonts and text. Uh, most of them say Muse for You and they have a different style of font. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create some text and how to change the font on the text. And I'll also be going over web fonts uh, versus system fonts. Alright, so to create some text, you just go over here to the left, click on the text tool, uh, right here, this T. You go down, or wherever you want on your website, and just kind of, oops, I'll try that again. Click out of here. Here, I'm going to give some more scroll space here. Yeah, all I did was drag down with this little arrow here to give more scroll space. So I'm going to select this T. I'm going to create a uh, rectangle text box and I'm going to add my text. So this is some text. Actually, I'm going to call this uh, web font. Uh, web font. Okay. Yeah, sure. And All right. And then I'm going to uh, increase the size on this font by clicking here on this down arrow uh, over here. And then I'm going to make it bigger so we can see it. I'll delete this period here. And then I'm going to highlight it and center it by uh, selecting this align center right up here. And I'm also going to align this rectangle, uh, this text box right in the middle of the site. And I, I know it's in the middle when I see this uh, red line here. Okay, so there's our web font, our, our, our text with uh, that says web font. And now I'm going to go ahead and change this to another font that I like up here. Um, so all I do is go over here, up here where it says text, click on this drop down, and then we have recently used fonts, uh, web fonts, web safe fonts, and system fonts. <clears throat> right now we are using Arial and it's a web safe font. Um, I highly recommend just using web fonts and I'll show you why in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and change this to, uh, let's change it to Marvel and regular. And we can see that our font changed. We now have this uh, a different style of font. And I can do it again. I can just go into my web fonts and change the style. Yellowtail, there's, there it is, it's changed. And I can change the color. And I can even add shadows to, to this font. I believe I can. Uh, no, it doesn't look like, oh, yeah, I can. Um, no, sorry, I can't, sorry about that. <laughs> um, no. But yeah, I can do a few things. I mean, I can, yeah, change the color and um, yeah, change the style of the font, change the size, align it in different places. Um, yeah, basically, if you worked with any word processing program, it's very similar. Uh, you have this uh, VA, which is, uh, let you add more spacing between your your fonts uh, or your text and you have uh, line um, height so you can give more spacing let's say you had you know two paragraphs another paragraph or another text another line you can give more spacing between each of them and you can align it more to the you know indent it you can add bullets you can see the bullets showed up over here you can number it. You see numbers over here. And, uh, you know, just kind of basic word processing functionality. Um, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just delete that and we'll change this back to the black color. And now what I'm going to show you is why I recommend uh, using web fonts versus system fonts. Actually, before I get into that, let me show you how to add more web fonts. Like, let's say you you look here and you have all these fonts, your web fonts, but there's not one you quite like yet. Uh, Adobe Muse actually works with uh, Typekit, which uh, is a service that has a lot of web fonts and you can download them right into Adobe Muse. Uh, it's similar to, you know, if you've heard of uh, Google Fonts, kind of the similar idea, but it's called Typekit. And I think Adobe, Adobe's the creator, I'm not sure though, but I know that Adobe Muse works uh, seamlessly with with typekit so to add a new web font you just go under web fonts and you go add web fonts and right here we have a whole bunch of web so web fonts excuse me and um, you can just select it so like I'll select uh, D wall 
Perkins, um, yeah. And I'll select uh, Esteban. And you can see it's selected, this little arrow turns blue right here. And the same here with the wall Perkins. And let's do one more. Let's do uh, Habibi, sure. And then I click OK. And it says three font families were added to the web fonts menu. So I click OK. And if I go back to my uh, fonts drop down under web fonts, let's go to Habibi um, right here. And we can now see it's changed to Habibi. And the other one we downloaded was uh, the Walpergens. There it is. So we have interesting font, which can go with the style of your website. You know, you can change the color and things like that. Uh, okay, so that's how you add new web fonts. And the other thing I'll show you real quick, is, you know, I'll kind of show you Typekit. Typekit lets you filter by the different styles of fonts. Like, you know, if you have kind of handwritten or kind of flowing calligraphy and just the different filters here um, and things like that. So, uh, cool. And it'll show you selected fonts. You can filter by name. Uh, Self-hosted web fonts. I'm going to get to this in another video. I'm not going to touch upon this quite yet. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, talk about uh, system fonts versus web fonts. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to save that for another video uh, because it will probably be longer than five minutes for that video. So this is just kind of a basic introduction to fonts and how to add new web fonts uh, to your Adobe Muse uh, website. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.